So, on this little generator, the next part of the video you're going to see is uh, I tried a new coil, I tried a new spark plug, and it still quit running after about 30 seconds to a one, one minute with the circular saw running. So now you're going to see uh, what exactly were the symptoms even after trying a coil and a spark plug. Okay, so uh, thanks a lot and we'll talk to you later. Okay, this is one of the brackets that holds in the brushes. We're getting funky. I went back and I just tweaked the, uh, the rheostat inside the cover here. And now I'm going to just brush this rust off of here. It's coming off. It's just a bracket that holds the brushes in, right? That's the one, right there. Okay, and then this are we tight? Let me just get a small ratchet. This is I don't want to use anything with that kind of force, eh? I'm kind of, I'm kind of shooting in the dark here and just uh, cleaning things up, right? Uh, the unit shuts down after about three minutes, and I've. Uh, I've worked on the mechanical side of the engine shutting down and now I'm going to the uh, inside here just to, to make sure that doesn't really touch anything back in there so we don't have to clean those. I'm going to put this back on and tighten up all the connections. I got it. I'm feeling good. It's, it is looking uh, pretty worn inside here. The copper windings are quite dark. That's probably because it's been running in a moist, in a moist environment. Okay, nothing on that one. So I cleaned the brushes and the and the end of the uh, the end of the armature. I went in here and I took the little rheostat and I went one turn forward and one turn back and then a half a turn back and another turn forward. So it's in about where it was. And now I'm going to put cover this bad boy up. Something is shutting this thing down. Just bleh, right. And I can't measure it with my own, with my own meter. I tried that. Uh, that's the bad buzzer. Good. Okay, now we're going to use the drill to start it up again. And see if we can make it fail. All right. Let's give her a start up. <clears throat> I just don't know how many leads come off that yellow shutdown do hover back in the control panel here. We might have to take that off and have a look. I do not want to do that. Okay. Joke. Start.
know what to do. You just did it, eh? Is it a temperature shutdown? It looks like a temperature shutdown. Okay, well that's very, very sad. Nothing's hot. Okay, start to keep the search on. Okay guys, I've only got a few minutes. I want to show you what I did. Four bolts. This pulls out. <laughs> Sometimes. There we are. Now. That pulled out just as... Uh... There, we need a little slack. That's the shut off to the coil right there. You ground that wire with this switch and it turns the, the whole machine on. So now I'm going to take off these three screws on the cover. One. Two. Three. One note of caution. Do you see this this yellow wire sticking right here? It it actually comes through the back on this little notch here and it grounds out right there and that's the ground for the whole panel. Okay, so right here is a little relay. It senses the this is the red lead. It comes from the breaker to the to the meter and then over onto this clip which was clipped into here right there do you see that I just disconnected that because this relay was firing a little too early causing a ground to be put on to our coil that shuts the engine off so yes you can give me heck for disconnecting the uh, high voltage shutdown it's an automatic shutdown not too many wires in here but my old I mean, the old stuff didn't have anything like that, eh? My old Coleman slash John Deere 440 doesn't even have a shutoff, except for a manual finger shutoff, right? And at the same time, I might as well show you. It's important, Mrs. P said, did you film what you did on uh, Alfred's generator? So I'm just going to, you can watch me put this back together again. A little tricky. Yeah. Once you get one going, you're you're low, you're golden. Don't move. Don't breathe. I told her I'm not going to get dirty. Good. That's the hard one. Putting the panel back on now, you can lift your head a little. Good. We can tighten that up after. do here is to make sure that this yellow lead is, is grounded to the frame right here right there do you see it right there and then we'll get that one started this is a little harder to put on for some reason it's uh got to be lined up absolutely perfectly. Well, we can do this one. Maybe hold it there. We're not ready to go yet. 
I have to turn it off. Turn it on and hear it. Good. Okay, now you have to see the end result. It should start, right? Joke! And that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Okay, all my friend. Let's see if she fires up. On. Toys are over there, they can't fall down. We got a drill and uh, got a drill and a skill saw ready to test. Oh, I wish I could get that load box from my old job. It was a DC load box, but I'm sure I could fix up something. It's a coil, right? All kinds of switches like 10 amps, 20 amps, 30 amps, 40 amps, and you could go right up. You could blow breakers, you could do all kinds of stuff. I want one! Thousands of dollars new. Okay, let's just do a choke. And uh, start it up and see if anything's different. I do have the, oh, oh, over here first of all, come and see here. I do have my spark indicator on there. Well, we'll disconnect it after. Because it might have a weak coil too, right? Come back in a bit, guys. I'm just checking to see if I'm getting a, a bad reading out of the uh, oil shutdown or the high volt shutdown leads. All right, guys. My recommendation, no matter what you're doing, when you're keeping stuff, is to. Uh, oops, sorry. When you're keeping stuff, keep electrical stuff too. Uh, this is the male end of this connector. This connector broke off. Uh, I don't know where it went, but it's actually this one here, right? So I had another one of these, and I cut the end off, and I just soldered it and put a piece of heat shrink on there. And it's the actual button that turns off the coil right there. It just puts a ground on the coil. And so just keep stuff, and you can do a, you can do a better than factory repair on that. In fact, that's soldered with the heat shrink and then the retainer is holding that down like that's that's even better than it was at the factory just blah 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 right but just keep stuff like this if you're tearing apart old old machines or coils or whatever and you got connectors just cut them off I don't have a lot I got this little bag right here what does it say wire ends fuses and connectors miscellaneous right well that's just a word of advice that's all that is there. That's the connector that I broke right there. Uh, the end of the wire came off this way. So there's a wire attached to, to the metal tab there. Alright my friends, we're back. Working on this generator. I think someone's been in here besides me because I did not remember putting the felt markers for the bolt locations on the restarter. Could have been me. But as well, whoops, over here, the governor is right there, the governor adjustment, and it is squished so tight here together that it stretches the aluminum around the post of the governor, and it's no longer adjustable. So what I'm going to do is take this arm off of here, I'm going to 
take my gr my grinder fine disc, cut a new slot so that when it, the next time you tighten it up, it's uh, it's uh, you can pull tight against the shaft instead of pulling tight right there. If you can see, maybe I can zoom in a little bit. So right there, it's pulled together so tight that the metal's been stretched around the governor shaft. I've seen this before. So now I'm going to just try and see if I can get that off of there. And it's loose. Now I need a little prior. Anything just to get that arm off there so I can do a small operation. Hmm. It might come off. Oh, it's loose. Not quite loose, eh? Okay, what can I use to get in there? Teeny tiny screwdriver. I wonder if I can tap it in. I just need to expand it so I can get it off, eh? Got to back you up. Ah, nothing's easy, guys. No, I just want to be able to tap that with a hammer. Anywhere along there. Right there. There we go. Good. Now before we disconnect the springs off of it, let's have a look over here at where we're at. Okay, so we're in the first hole, not the second hole, and we can undo it. Ah, and second, one, two, three holes there. Top hole, third hole. So now I'm going to slice down, slice down this just a little bit to give me more pinching room. I'll take this right out. Yeah, that's easy to, easy to do. And now I'm going to stick this in the vise and just do a little minor surgery because it's been stretched. You can almost see that it's been stretched around this way by lengthwise. Dirty dogs, eh? Okay. Okay, I'm going to try the hacksaw first. We'll go move it to the other side. And I just want to widen this. I actually want to take some metal off, eh? I don't think it's doing it. I think I'm just spreading it. I wonder if a angle grinder would be too much. Yeah, it would be almost too much. But it would work. Make sure there's no gasoline stuff anywhere, within a few feet anyway. Now I'm going to just take my angle grinder and slice that so we have something to pinch with. Goggles! Put my glasses up here so I don't get wrecked.
So now you can see right there that we can actually shrink that. Ouch, it's hot. <laughs> Did I go far enough on the other side? Let's just have a look. The hacksaw should tell us. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to put it back together. Okay, guys. Governor. If I can get you in here. I went all the way to the right with this post at full throttle and it did not help. It really bought, it, well, it went wild. So now I'm going to loosen this. It's loosened a little bit already. I'm going to take the governor post and turn it the other way, which I think is. Oh, man. I tell you. Where's my light? It's in there somewhere. I can see it. There. I'm going to just take this post and turn it the other way now, if I can. Maybe it's the other way. Yep, it's turning. Of course, I'm going to use my left hand. There's just no easy way of doing this. Needle nose, I guess. So, th governors are set one way or the other all the way, right? And if you're doing it, it's usually the wrong way first. So there we go. I'm going to just lift up a little bit on the post and make sure we're still at full throttle, which is, yep, we are. And I'm going to tighten that back up and we'll try it again. So right there, see if we can get you in on it. Only do this if somebody else has messed it up. And it's this post right there. And, it, and sometimes you end up just chasing your tail. It's a sad thing when people muck with it. But because these two, you see now I have room for adjustment. Let's get a red cap. Now that I've got room for adjustment because I took some metal out right there. I'm going to try and tighten it up. Hello! Hi! Yes, thank you so much and thank you for coming around the back. No worries, have a good day. You too. Thank you. Okay. So that's planned. That's the second attempt. We'll bring the tank back down to its... We can leave this flopping. Turn the... Uh, turn this on. And we'll see if we can start it up and do it again. Go back to choke. Because it likes to be started on choke for some reason. And let's see. Okay, I'm chasing my tail. As soon as I figure it out, I'll bring you back. Well, we'll try the, all four. We'll just try all four options, and when I get it, I'll come back and explain it. It's a lot of filming, right? All right, guys, we're going to call it. Uh, the the uh, governor on this one will not control the speed of the engine, so it either runs at... Uh, uh, low RPM or maximum and the only reason why it'll run at low RPM is because you just jam the throttle to minimum uh, And at that point it will generate 110 volts or 120 volts or whatever 
but it won't put out any current because it's not got a, the automatic ca capabilities of the governor to bring the R to bring the RPMs up. So uh, it's on hold. I'm probably going to give it back to the customer, and uh, it's kind of had a hard life. So uh, sometimes that's just the way it is. I just hate to give up, you know. But I worked on this all day yesterday. And today I'm just putting the pieces and parts back on, like this nice little instrument panel back up to there, that kind of thing, right? So, can't get them all, eh? Killing me. One more thing, eh, on that Champion. They make a good little generator, but they still don't make a Honda generator. And, and I'm not, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not crazy about all Honda products. But on their working products, like generators, pumps, pressure washers, they are the best. And uh, if this was a Honda, we would probably go further. But because the original sale price is usually half or less, and then they last about half as long, uh, that's about, this is when things start to go, right? So you can fix the governor, and then it's back. So, like I said, I just... I hate to give up, but I'm going to. Thank you very much.